Um, do you have like any like specific favorite uh, track off albums? Oh man, I don't. It's so hard for me to like zoom out now because I've been, you know, focused so much on each one. I I'm interested to, to like now that I'm taking a step back, like kind of listen to it with fresh ears. But um, I don't know. I think I think I feel connected to all of them for different reasons. But mm-hmm. um, being able to work with people like it there's only a handful of people that were involved in the record, maybe six or seven, but they're all people that I really love. And so like when I listen to it and I hear things that they played or things that we came up with it together, like those things really like get me stoked, you know? Yeah. Well, the, there are two tracks specifically that like, I kind of like return to is like stream of consciousness. Oh yeah. I really like the groove on that one. It's Thanks. Very, you know, it's very nice. That. And then also uh, I was uh, holding on to you. Oh yeah, cool. Very like poignant song. Like yeah. we talk about, you know, a lot of things in there also like socially and that also found that it's like another part of like uh your music, like your themes. Like you yeah. speak about, you know, the human experience also, but then like also from like a social aspect. And yeah, for sure. Oh, that's cool. I'm happy to hear what you Yeah. Cause especially because not that many people have heard it yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I know that that holding on to you definitely like um, I don't know. I think I, I, I like want, I felt moved to write a love song, but it's also sometimes like, that's just something that I experience a lot where it's like, man, the world sometimes just feels totally insane. And yeah. especially in the last few years, like definitely had some days where I just like laid on the floor and felt like existential, not crisis, but like definitely a little bit of yeah. existential dread and confusion, yeah. but like finding ways. I mean, I feel like that our generation and kind of everyone that's alive right now, we're like trying to figure out how to hold all of this fear and like bewilderment and anger sometimes at the same time as being like, okay, how do we stay inspired and try to find solutions and like loving each other. And those are intense things to like hold at the same time, but (laughs) yeah, tried to write about it a little bit. 